Welcome to Around the Weird. Here's your host, the museum curator of the strange and unusual, Mr. Nothing. Thank you, Mysterious Voice, and welcome back to Around the Weird, a booktube channel where I talk about all the unusual and out-of-the-ordinary literature that I have found in my travels. Today, it is Short Story Tuesday, a wonderful day to talk about uh, short stories and short-form literature. Uh, sometimes it's creative, sometimes it reveals an insight into uh, an author's uh, personal experiences. Uh, it's, it's a whole lot of fun though. Uh, so today I wanted to focus on a specific short story uh, about the Irish Civil War and um, uh, a gunfight that takes place uh, during that Civil War, fictional of course. Um, I am talking about The Sniper by Liam, Liam O'Flaherty. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I've only found people pronouncing it, uh, pronouncing it who uh, are Irish speakers, so I don't know if I'm uh, mispronouncing it or something like that. But uh, for those that don't know, Liam O'Flaherty is um, or was a, an Irish writer uh, throughout the 1900s who wrote uh, a lot about the Irish experience. Uh, the, he wrote about the potato famine. Um, he wrote about um, uh, the, um, the, uh, the, the Irish Civil War, the Irish American, uh, the, the Irish War for Independence, stuff like that. Uh, he, uh, he was a communist. Uh, uh, and he also had a um, post-traumatic stress disorder from his time in the, uh, the, uh, the World War I, uh, which I think is reflected somewhat in his writings, um, a, a disillusionment with war in general. Uh, he was um, an interesting uh, writer uh, um, and, and one who uh, I, I would be willing to check out more because uh, he, he is very specifically writing about the Irish experience. Uh, much like uh, um, other other writers of, of the time, uh, but um, what what interests me is that uh, he you know the, the whole PTSD aspect of it. I want to see how how that would carry forward in in other um, in other maybe longer form novels that he that he may have written. Yeah, so uh, pretty fascinating author. Uh, without further ado, let's talk about the sniper though. I will do uh, some summary, some analysis, and we will move on from there. The sniper focuses on an unnamed sniper fighting in the Irish Civil War. They are fighting on the Republican side, uh, so they opposed the treaty that uh, the, the Free Staters drew up with the, uh, the British side uh, and um, were in favor of maybe better protections or uh, maybe a more... Uh, uh, more connected, um, uh, a united Ireland, I think, is is what they fought for. Uh, so yeah, they are currently waiting for their target to show up. Uh, they decide to have a smoke, and they think, oh well, this is probably going to give a, give me away. But they they risk it, and it turns out, yeah, that's exactly what happens. Another sniper bears down on their position, uh, and they have to engage in a in a gunfight um, to you know survive at this point. They do manage to uh, uh, shoot some of the people they were aiming for. An informant um, and a and an armored car, although they can't penetrate the armored car with their bullets. Uh, so um, and in the process, they end up uh, getting shot in the arm, which uh, sort of deadens the arm and um, uh, causes a lot of pain for the uh, for the for the unnamed sniper. Uh, and so, uh, in order to get out of this situation, they try to think, and they come up with a solution where they fake their own death, uh, making the other sniper believe that they have effectively killed them, and uh, uh, in, the, in the process, the, um, the other sniper, the, the, the narrator, um, not the narrator, but the protagonist of the story, uh, takes out their revolver and um, uh, shoots the other sniper from a distance, which, you know, given revolvers of the time and how they're not meant for long distances, that's pretty impressive. 
uh, the the sniper celebrates, but they're kind of disillusioned by the whole thing, and they just head back down to the street. They avoid machine gun fire, and they're very curious uh, to check out the other sniper. And um, upon discovering the body, they learn that the sniper was their brother, so it kind of ends on a downer note there. In terms of analysis, there's uh, a little bit that I want to talk about. Uh, this is a, a very uh, interesting short story. It's, it's very short, but um, I, I believe that Liam of Flaherty um, jam packs it full of, uh, of uh, un unique tidbits. One thing that I really like about it is the description of the sniper. Uh, there's a quote that I want to read to you. On a rooftop near O'Connell Bridge, a Republican sniper lay watching. Beside him lay his rifles and over his shoulders was slung a pair of field glasses. His face was the face of a student, thin and ascetic, but his eyes had the cold gleam of the fanatic. They were deep and thoughtful, the eyes of a man who is used to looking at death. Uh, pretty interesting quote, um, a passage from, from the short story uh, that, that I feel like highlights uh, what Liam Flaherty might be trying to say, uh, that uh, who, who often is sent to war? The common saying is that the old send the young to war and the young die, come back and become very disillusioned with society. Uh, and I feel like that's going on here. Uh, the he, uh, the, um, uh, the, the, um, the the protagonist of the story is described as a student-like. So maybe he's a young or a, an older teenager, younger in his twenties. Um, he's described as a fanatic, but he hasn't really lived long enough to become you know fanaticized with any particular way of uh, of thinking um, about his country. So it's likely that someone more charismatic came around and said, "Hey, you gotta believe in this because." such and such and such and such and so they really tricked them into fighting for the the republican cause at least that's that's the way i would i would view it um and you know despite being so young it's interesting that this uh um this this uh protagonist has the um you know the eyes of someone who's seen death so um perhaps they've lived a lifetime in their short time on this earth uh even shorter um given that they might die soon uh, it's it's uh, pretty tragic, and I think um, Liam O'Flaherty really wants to get at the tragedy of of this this um, this young individual. I think Liam O'Flaherty wants to talk about the grim realities of war in this story, uh, particularly um, how you're always close to death in war. Uh, the, uh, the protagonist has to deal with the rival sniper for one, um, who manages to shoot him and, and wound him. Will that end up killing him, uh, especially given uh, the time period? Uh, who is to say, but it, it certainly doesn't bode well for them. But also when they get down to the street, there's machine gun fire that they have to worry about. Uh, death is around every corner. They don't, they probably don't know, like, who is on their side and who isn't. Uh, so that's uh, that would be pretty scary to deal with. But there's also the fact that um, uh, the reality of killing someone isn't that great either. Um, the the, uh, the After the protagonist um, shoots the other sniper, like they have a moment of triumph, but that quickly fades away. And there's another good quote that I want to read to you. The sniper looked at his enemy falling, and he shuddered. The lust of battle died in him. He became bitten by remorse. The sweat stood out in beads on his forehead, weakened by his wound and the long summer day of fasting and watching on the roof. He revolted from the, the sight of the shattered mass of his dead enemy. His teeth chattered. He began to gibber to himself, cursing the war, cursing himself, cursing everybody. And so you really, you really get at this. Like the 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 protagonist, uh, you know, may have been eager uh, to do his job in the beginning, but after killing someone, maybe their first kill um, at all, it, it's quickly apparent that that this is not fun. War is not a game. It's um, it's devastating, and uh, to even kill one person is is one person too many uh and uh maybe they're realizing that they they signed up for something they don't wholeheartedly believe in uh who who is to say but uh it's it, the the reality of this is is setting in uh pretty quickly and and not, not only that but the reality of killing someone is setting in pretty quickly too and then also liam Fla flowerty points out that in in war the grim reality of war is that there is no victory even if you manage to kill someone else even if you manage to uh to uh, uh, 
live uh, through the battle, you know, there there's still devastation wreck, uh, not only on the on the surrounding landscape, but there's uh, there's also the the um, the horrors that a civil war can wreak, uh, as is the um, in the American Civil War it was described as brother against brother, family against family, and it might have been the same for the Irish um, Civil War. Uh, in this case, it, it's apparent because when the uh, when the protagonist goes to check on the other sniper, they they just find out that it's a uh, it's their um, their brother, which would probably be jarring and and cause a lot of emotional emotional turmoil uh, that they might not uh, readily get over. It might produce shell shock or uh, post traumatic stress disorder, as it's as it's known now. Um, something that uh, Liam O'Flaherty uh, went through himself. So uh, pretty pretty tragic and um, uh, an unfortunate end to the story there. And the last thing I want to talk about is how uh, Flaherty paints a sad uh, tragic picture of uh of a war-torn dublin in this story uh it's a very short story but in that time uh flaherty uh, portrays dublin as war-torn uh there's machine guns on every street battles constantly raging people on rooftops trying to snipe one another um uh, just bodies all around um uh lying in the street and family killing one another it, everything just seems so bleak and desolate and sad it's it's not a happy moment at all. And I uh, I love how Flaherty catch, captures that picture. Um, uh, there are, there are a couple of g great authors out there who um, uh, Stephen Crane in the Red Badge of Courage who managed to capture war um, in as bleak as as they possibly can, matching you know what war actually is. And um, I, I I really like that uh, that Liam is is able to do that in such a, a short format. And so those are my thoughts on the Sniper by Liam O'Flaherty. Uh, quite an interesting uh short story and quite a sad story short story and it ends and it, it just leaves you feeling like saddened by the fact that uh th this n this narrator killed his um uh, his own brother for the uh for you know the irish civil war for the republican cause um whatever that may have been i'm not too um well educated on the the irish civil war and the troubles that that developed you know around that uh so yeah uh i um i definitely recommend this to you out there uh, i'm gonna put a link put a link to it in the description it should be in the public domain um uh, it was published um around in the 1920s so it should should be uh if you have uh something to say about it you know or if you read it before you want to comment on my review something like that feel free to comment below i would love to hear from you we can have a discussion about the nature of war um also don't forget to like share and subscribe so that we can get liam o'flaherty out to the masses we can talk more about some of his other work as well uh and until then i wish you the best of luck in your uh weird and war-torn travels farewell